what's up guys so in this video i want to show you how you can integrate sanity to your astro project in order for you to use um a single route instead of having a separate route for sanity and a separate route for astro so let's just get right into the video all right i have um an empty folder called astro sanity opened on VS Code. So the first thing we're going to do is to first of all um, create an Astro project. So we can do that by saying npm create Astro latest. And I'll use a period sign to create it on this folder. So we'll start with an empty template. Yeah, we want TypeScript. Leave it as straight. Yes, and we'll say no to the key triple all right so we have um astro up and running so the next thing we'll do is to create a sanity project so we'll say create sanity at latest then we'll do the same thing all right so if this is your first time using sanity you won't see this other project i use sanity a lot that's why I have um, some projects with it but you should just head to create new project and you give the project a name i'll call my astro sanity studio then we'll set the data sets to yes and we'll leave the default part then we'll start with a clean project and we'll say yes to TypeScript. We'll also use npm. All right, so um, we have our Sanity project right here. It took a minute to install. So currently now, both of them are running on two ports. So I can just do npm run dev. This will be for Astro then. I'll have to cd into Astro Sanity Studio and I'll have to do um, npm run dev again so if we go back this should open on this port which I will just copy right here and I'll paste right here alright cool so our Astro um, stuff is coming through then for sanity it should give us a, another port called um local host 333 so this port i'll copy it and just um, paste it right here all right so you see both of them have different ports but we basically want to um, embed this into a route on our astro so i won't bother to log in right now we'll just get rid of it then i'll leave um the link so this article in the description so the first thing to do is to um, install this command right here so i'll copy this and make sure i'm out of this so make sure you're in your root folder which is the sanity the astro sanity folder paste the command right here so this is basically install adding the astro and sanity astro package and also adding react because um, sanity is built with react and it runs with vit so we actually need react for us to be able to use sanity with astro and i'll say yes to this so we say yes all right so we have that in, um, installed so you can go to our astro config to actually see the two integrations so the next thing to do right now is to come to these uh, types and we'll just copy this and go to env So this we just paste it right here. 
Let's save. All right. So the next thing to do is to actually set up the Sanity client with, it, with the integration. So we just copy this. And I'll head back and get rid of this one, paste it right here and save. Now we need to put in our project ID and the data set. So to get that, you can do that in two ways, but we'll just show you a simpler way. You open your Sanity Studio folder and you go to the sanity.config. Then you can grab the project ID from here paste it right here then the data set um, is always production i'll just add this to my workspace all right so the next thing to do again is to just add the studio base part so basically this studio base part is where you want to assess um, your sanity studio so basically ours would be um, um localhost four three two one slash admin or whatever you call it yours. So we we'll save this. And lastly, what we just need to do is to drag this sanity.config to our root folder, and we we'll also grab this um, schema types and put it. On our root folder as well so now you can get rid of this um, astro sanity studio i'll do that in a minute but i think okay everything is all fine and good okay we also need to install this tool on our project so that we can have access to it on our um, studio i'll just say npm i and I'll copy this and paste it right here. All right, so that's installed. Then you can see right now that we only have our um, Astro project up and running. We don't have our Sanity project. So with that, you can just go back here and copy. I'll copy this and I'll pull this in a new tab. Well, this time I'll add admin to it and this now should um, tell me to actually log into my to sanity so you can see right here that um, it's telling us to add this is our url as a core origin and if you deploy um, to netlify over cell it's also going to prompt you to also add that particular url so cause origin so i'll quickly do this so i'll click on add origins and it should take me back and i am um, telling us to actually log in to access our astro sanity studio and make sure you have an account if you don't have an account create an account so i'm going to log in with my github so you can see now that um i have access to um astro true um to sanity rather through my astro um page right here so i don't need to actually create a separate route for my sanity and you can see that this is also showing to make sure to know that i'm still using astro so any changes i make right here will check if there um, there's any content that needs to be changed which will now lead me to go back to our astro file and set the output to server and the reason why we're doing this is because um by default astro statically renders um html pages at build time and this our sanity studio is something that is dynamic because for instance if i add a new schema to this and save my file this will actually check if there were any um, changes was made to this so we need to set the output to server to actually render our page every time so that's it guys hope you learned something from the video do well to leave 
like and share the video if you found it helpful see you next time